Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In this video, we're going to be putting together a new pistol from Yuri. Uh, it's just pretty awesome looking. I love this thing, the Militech. <laughs> He's got a couple versions of this, one with like a working sort of rubber band mechanism and one just a static mechanism. Um, this turn, this, I started it as the rubber band mechanism, but got a little rambunctious with my gluing and now it's a static one, but it still looks pretty cool. But the clip still comes out. So I was pretty happy about that. I didn't get too glue happy there. Um, just a really fun gun. It might look a little uh, strange. Uh, we're going to talk about that in the video. Why some of this silver looks so worn. You're saying, wow, what a great weathering job. No, it wasn't. But we'll look and see what I'm talking about in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the build. All right, so after a ton of sanding and priming, we're going over this with some all-clad gloss black lacquer. Uh, I used some new primer. It's this really high build stuff. It was pretty cool. Now, I'm just going to show painting this one because everything else I painted pretty much the same way, but with different all-clad lacquers. Now, I'm going to use Yuri's amazing instructions to go ahead and put this thing together. So here we go, uh, putting the uh, clip in, and we've got the body. Now, I again chose to do the print that uh, had some working mechanisms. Uh, I've never had luck with 3D prints with working mechanisms, and let me get a little, give you a little spoiler, I did not this time either. <laughs> so we're just going ahead and putting some pieces in. Now, this is a neat little piece. It's actually for the clip, to sort of hold the clip in. Uh, so I thought that was kind of neat, and it's a nice little detail. Now, here this, here's the thing, when you're putting this together and following the instructions, and Yuri's pretty clear about this, you need to make sure you remove all your supports or things are gonna get gummed up and not work properly. So this is the mechanism for the rubber band. And again, I had to clean this up a lot to make sure that it would fit in just right and move the way it's supposed to. And again, I'm just going through the instructions. Now this part here, getting them to snap together, uh, this took me a while and uh, I won't show it all because I mean it took me a while to get everything to fit just right and go together but once it did it popped into place and you can see the mechanism still works at this point point. Um, and I say this point because at this point I get a little crazy with my glue and I get glue on things and they cease to move so this is not gonna move but it's still gonna look pretty awesome so now I'm going to put the little barrel thing on here that he has, uh, and this is a cool part. I love this this uh, barrel part, aperture part here, and uh, again, this is uh, done in all clad uh, aluminum, and of course the gloss black, and you know, I put a bunch of glue on it, but it's also a really good compression fit in there, uh, just how snug everything is, and I just love how this sucker looks. Now I had to clear up a little bit of the inside here to get the barrel to slide down. And there it goes, right in there, and it pops in place, which is nice. And uh, it isn't going anywhere, which is cool. And look at that thing, it looks sharp, I love it. Now here's this little thing in the back. Now this was supposed to you know, control the rubber band mechanism. Again, I didn't get that to work properly, so I just said, to heck with it, it's just gonna look neat. So I went ahead and put on all the little bits and bobs, uh, which really help round this thing out and get it going. So the next thing I'm going to end up doing is after I get these things on, I'm going to give this a clear coat. Here's the thing. I used the wrong clear coat. I had forgotten really because it was so much time in between painting these things, what kind of underpaint I used. So if you notice here, the clear coat made everything run, but I love it because the gun looks worn and I didn't even have to weather it. Uh, I, I love the design of this thing. Uh, I actually like what my mistake made, you know, made happen. Like look at how the black sort of bled through there onto that. I love how that looks. Great build uh, and a really fun build. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this one. Well, okay, there you go. Now you know what happened. <laughs> Little, little, uh, little crazy with the glue. Little not having the pieces put in there properly. Still super happy about this. I love the way it looks. Um, I love the feel of it. One thing I didn't mention in the build is that when I printed this, 
I actually forgot and or didn't notice that some of my slicer settings were at uh, like 100% or 50% infill until it was too late. So this thing is crazy heavy because a lot of it is solid plastic. And then I just went with it and said, let's see what happens. So when people pick this up at shows and whatnot, they're really surprised at how heavy this thing is. So uh, just a fun build. Uh, if you want to build more of Yuri's things, you cannot beat this guy's Patreon page. He's a great guy. Um, he makes so many amazing models for next to nothing a month. Go check it out, Patreon. It's uh, Yuri. The link's below. Great guy, uh, good friend, uh, amazing files. So uh, check him out and uh, give him a hand and, and support him. Because, I mean, he makes these things and they are awesome. Um, I love this thing. It's one of my favorites. So check him out on Patreon. The link's below. Also, uh, it was this gun, of course, was printed with Zealtech filament. It's my favorite filament. I use it for everything. Um, I've never had it sort of... Um, tingle that happens sometimes just a great filament uh coupon code 3d printed props go down to the description copy and paste it go over pick up some filament it's pretty awesome i actually printed this in uncle jesse gun uh, uncle jesse silver which uh, is my new favorite because it sands really well and i can see the lines so i can i know what i need to sand and what i need to fill so it's really cool so great hope you like the video uh like and subscribe Take a look at the links below. Check out Yuri uh, if you want to print some awesome things. And that's it. All right, guys. Uh, I will see you back hopefully next week with another video. Take it easy.